Okay, guys. So what is going on? I'm gonna go uh, uh, a little bit of fishing. Oh gosh, I'm really scared. I mean, I'm not really scared. It's just, I mean, I'm not really one that likes the rain. I mean, it's just a little mist, but still. I mean, literally, I. This is a nice rod, and I like this rod. But I'm doing this for you guys. So we're going large bunk bass fishing with the little frog. Oh, run, sheep, run. I'm trying to get down there back as fast as I could. I mean, I was making sure that my phone was waterproof just in case if I was to get a little bit of water on it, it would be okay. And I seen this guy put his phone completely in water. Like, if I was to drop my phone in the water, he put it in there for a minute and 30 seconds and took it out and it was perfectly fine. So, apparently Samsung Galaxy A10Es are waterproof. I mean, it ain't no iPhone it can spend like 20 hours in the water, but it ain't no uh, flip phone that as soon as you drop it in the water, you're done for. What is that? Is that a piece of plexiglass? Oh my gosh, did I even start the video? Oh gosh. Well, what is good, Kinsey Club? I mean, I don't even know if I did start the video or not. Oh yeah, I started it. Let's take off my backpack, because I don't really think I'm going to need it. I literally used my backpack just... Oh, uh, we'll just throw it down there. So we're using this. This is a... What is that noise? Chickens. But it's a little Lunker Hunt pocket frog. It's a little seven or eight dollar frog. You know what? I'm not even gonna go over that. Well, actually, I will. And it's also got this little rain roof kind of my helmet, which is nice, so that I won't get too much water. As I can see, there's a little bit of water on it now. I'm I'm just seeing this to see how good the like the camera mount type thing is. Oh my gosh, look at the action. Just reel it really, really slow. And we might get a bite. Now this is no popping frog. So all you do is you literally just cast the dang thing out there. The action is really nice. Now I can see. There are... Will you shut up, you stupid chickens? I know they do that whenever, like, they're in danger. Or, well, not really whenever they're in danger. They do that whenever, well, there's either, like, a predator behind and they're trying to call out the rooster. Because if you guys haven't already known, if you look up a picture of a rooster's foot, they have this one claw that sticks out and Correct me if I'm wrong, like, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called a defense claw. Like, if something tries to mess with its hens, it's got a de really sharp defense claw. And that son of a gun's sharp. Oh gosh, guys, there's a, there's a carp. I'm gonna actually try to get him. He's over there. Don't know if you guys can see him. Let's reel this son of a gun in fast. I wanna get this son of a gun. I'll probably spook him off as soon as I cast. I mean, I don't even care. I don't think I'm gonna get him. Maybe if I cast, like, no, let, no, let me. Oh gosh, I thought I just had a dangle. Oh, he's coming this way. Is he coming this way? Yes, he is. He's gonna go right underneath my line. And I can feel it. No, 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 no. Come on, swim faster, you carp. I don't think he's gonna make it. swimming off, he's swimming off, but I can still get him, I think. He's right by the net, so I don't want to cast. I'll wait till he gets past the net. I'll wait till he gets past the net. Wait till he gets past the net. I'll buy a few feet, and then I'll cast towards him. you got to be very silent with carps, because carps, they're really, really intelligent fish, and they, they, they can tell whenever you're right here, like seriously, the slightest, like, movement, and they can go. up rod. This is your one chance to get a fish. Maybe, maybe. 
Oh, I ran right over top of him. The hooks didn't get on top of him. Well, I won't, probably won't even be able to get him because, well, it's a top water lure. Oh, I just spooked something. Did you guys see the mud? ran right over top of him. Let's see if I can, if I cast towards that, maybe I can grab him. Do carp eat frogs? Because maybe I'll cast in front of him. Oh. Maybe. Now I heard from Carl's Bait and Tackle on Instagram. Go follow them. Carl's Bait and Tackle. Just look that up and follow him. And this video is not sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. But I've heard from him. Whenever you are using any type of frog. Don't be scared to, you know, let it sit. For like a long pause. And then just start reeling. I mean, don't be scared to pop it. Just try different techniques. Okay, it looks like whatever I spooked was most likely a turtle. Now I was thinking, well... Turtles are basically, snapping turtles are basically eat, basically anything that's like considered meat. So what if I threw out the frog? Maybe he'd eat it. So this rod operates really nice. I mean, the frog, it's, it, action, I would give it a 12 out of 10. It's got some wonderful action. Also, while you're there, go look up Lunker Hunt and follow Lunker Hunt, because that's, that's the brand that made this, uh, Frog, I'm trying to cast towards that dark spot. Because that might actually be a critter. Oh, it's right beside him. Maybe he'll go get it. That carp went somewhere out that way. I mean, I don't know what the deal with carps are. It's literally, sometimes they just sit out there in the middle. Sometimes they sit over there. But most of the time they come over here. And then they come to land. And they, like, basically, like, sun, sun themselves. Like, they have their back sticking out of the water, the sun's just shining on them. I try to get it with that net over there. But most of the time, too, they go over here, and then they just circle back like you guys seen that carp do. Now, I the only reason why I would want this, um, want this camera mount to be here like this was because I actually do not know. Can you guys actually see the water? I mean... Well, there's my frog. Oh, there's a muddy spot. Let's let's just cast out towards the middle. Because the bass in this pond, they just sit out in the middle. And they literally just wait there. Let's just let it sit. Now, I am kind of in a rush. But, I still want to try to catch a fish with this. Because this is a bait that I have com confidence in. Now, the next video you guys are going to see, I don't know if it's going to be like before St. Patrick's Day or after. But, one of those two. It might even be on St. Patrick's Day. Whenever you guys will see it. Most likely not because it's on a Wednesday and I post on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. But I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day fishing challenge where it's not rod and reel. And yes, I did bring the Honda down. Oh wait, what the heck? You guys know! I went down with it. Now that's a good thing about topwater is... Oh guys, is that a turtle's head? I'm gonna cast towards him. I'm literally gonna cast towards him. So... I've finally figured out how to say it. It's not Shimano or anything like that. They actually uh, are the ones that make the gears on my bike. Shimano is the name of it. Darn, there was a bad cast. And there's another. Look at that. Is that an... I swear, that is a carp. I can see little bits of his back over there in front of all that brush. And then there's dark spots over here. My goodness. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, this pond is loaded with carp. I mean, my my uh, friend's dad, hit one of his friends had permission to fish down here. He caught a he caught a a turtle, and he said that that thing was like um what was it? Probably I think he said that he weighed it, and it was like. Would, do we cast at him? Yeah, you see him, guys? Moving? He, look, look, what did I say? He's right by there. But there is like a turtle right there. And I'm pretty sure uh, a turtle will eat um, frog. Heck, anything will eat a frog. I'll eat some frog legs. 
If you gave me a chance, he gave me a bullfrog, and you said that you would want some frog legs, or you would want me to eat frog legs, I'd give it a shot. Now what we do, I'm just going to set, set it there, just let it sit. That carp's literally just hanging out there. I think there's another one over there. And there was one just over there somewhere. Um, yeah, that's another good thing about uh, this is... Um, you know, sorry about the chickens over there. They're so annoying! But uh, whenever I would go, like, say there's like a... I can see like a top water blow up over here or something, and I'm fishing over there, and my phone's right there. Instead of walking off camera, and you guys won't see me, and you guys will just see the pond. That'll be so boring. Instead of that happening... Oh. So you tighten up your slack. Even though this is called a pocket frog and it's not the popping frog, we're still gonna pop her. Oh, that was too big of a pop. Oh my gosh, no. My frog just came off. No, what happened? Oh no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Well, phew. It's just, I seen that little tangle thing right there and I knew what it was. It's one of those things where your line comes out and it doesn't get all stretched out. Right there's the frog. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Because literally if a frog was to come out, I'd get that net. I need to get a net. I need to get a new net. Now, I'm not talking about a small one like you get for, like, bluegill and stuff. I'm talking about, like, a big one. What time are we at? 12 minutes. Okay. I'm talking about a big one. Because, like, seriously, if I'm going for turtle and I catch, a like, a 40-inch carp, a little bluegill net is not going to do the job. I like this little shade thing I'm telling you that's literally the only thing that I really catch out of here but whenever we explore the panfish pond that's gonna be like a whole nother story like I'm gonna love that place and not only is there panfish in it like 75% of it's panfish like the other 15% of it's catfish the last fish my dad caught out of there was uh what was it it was like a like a 23 inch catfish. It was okay sized. And that pond, it is barely on our property. But if you guys go on to Google Maps and you look up like Kinsey Farm, like freaking Google, you'll have a, you'll see this pond. This pond used to be about like an acre. And it'd go the whole way back there where I do that little hill climb. But now it's small, small, small enough. But then if you keep on going up, past this like you find all the the cattails back there and stuff if you keep on going straight back that way and go maybe to your left a little bit you'll see the you will see the the um panfish pond now i just noticed something for some reason as of right now it smells like skunk now i don't know if like a skunk came here and sprayed or what but literally it just all of a sudden started to smell like oh, there's something It's raining. It is raining. And he's actually still too far out. If that net had a big handle on it, I'd be able to get him then. But there's bubbles over there. Let's cast out that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Not into the branch. Okay, good, good, good. That's a good one. Yeah, right there's that carp. He's swimming backwards. What the heck, dude? Yeah, he's swimming backwards. Let's see if a carp would eat this. What definitely got his attention because now he's moving. I do think we are going to go king pole fishing one more time this summer because it did seem like a lot of you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, comment down below again and tell me who else is going trout fishing on the first day. 
Oh, he landed like right in a lily pad. Now, guys, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to that pond, and this frog, I'm telling you, will be the juice in that area. Just imagine this. You see, have you seen in the beginning of this video how how cool this frog looks and how the action is and stuff? Pop him up, reel him up. You guys see how cool this frog looks? Like seriously. Do you guys see how cool that frog looks? Imagine if that was in a pond that just had lily pads. That is the absolute juice in a spot. But don't always just try a frog. You can sh sh do other things like, uh, there's that carp again. You can do, uh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try one more cast after this and I'm just going to pop it the way. There's two carp. You know what? Screw this. We're going to have this sit right here, just like this. And I'm going to go get the net and I'm going to go try to get one of these some of the guns. I don't even know what time we're at. We're at 16. Okay. Let's go get the net. We'll try to get him. And we'll actually, like, try to pop the frog a few more times. And then we'll go home. Right up here's the net. Dude, there's a piece of plexiglass right there. Literally, they just literally sit right there. He's right over there. Oh my god. Oh yeah, Braden Price. I don't. I really doubt he's gonna watch my videos, but like, you have you guys ever seen how Braden Price? He's like trying to get through mud holes and stuff, and he's like, "Wow, this thing is deep," and he's like, "We need some bigger mud holes." Here you go, man. Take your Outlander and your Renegade through it. You won't make it. You won't make it past the dock. Once you step right past the dock, you're, like, to your shoulders. Out in the middle, it's probably, pretty sure it's like 16 feet of just mud. But turtles like it. Okay, where's this carp? Is he still there or is he gone? Yeah, I think he's still there. I'll just keep this thing right here. Cast a little bit more, and there went my fishing pole. What the heck? I caught a stick. Oh, it's kind of going down now. Action is 12 out of 10. Performance on a good day and at a good pond where you would actually. Oh, there's a, there's a corp. I don't know which way it's going to go. Pop her up. Yeah, this is what we call the farm pond. There's probably a carp like right up against this bank. Here, yeah, I'm gonna go scout it. We'll go scout it real quick and then we'll make one more cast. Oh, there's my cane pole. Is that my cane pole? Yeah, there's all the, the line and stuff. I need to get, find a handle for this thing. The handle fell off. Yeah, that's my big game pole. And yeah, we'll just set this thing right in there. That was loud. One last cast with the frog. I say on a good day. Well, it just automatically just stopped raining. I mean, you can, you guys can see it's like still raining like a mist, but like literally, I can't feel anything. Cast this sucker out this way. Oh, that was that was out that way. Not a bad spot, either. We're gonna pop this thing the whole way. Bluegill were probably looking at it like, 
What the heck, man? So I've been fishing for uh, almost a year now. Well, well, actually it's been over a year, but like where I've been fishing like nonstop has been over a year. Well, almost a year. It's been like eight to ten months, nine months. I've been fishing since I was seven, but like I think as soon as I turned like nine, I start I stopped fishing because, well, it started getting boring because I mean, literally, the only baits that I would use is seriously I would use like grubs, and I know you can can you can catch crappie stuff. On like stuff in here now like seriously this pond is private like if you're just walking down the road and you look and you're like dang that's a nice pond I'd like to fish that thing sometime uh, sorry but you can't unless if I unless if you like get permission I mean as long as as long as if you guys don't come here and you're like just go straight off the highway and you're like catching fish and you're taking them or you're just even catching and releasing We'll probably yell at you, but, like, if I, if you see me down here fishing, you're one of my, like, fans or something, and I'm here making a video, and you guys want to fish, I'd give you guys permission. It's just, ask for permission, we'll give you guys permission. Just don't come here and just barge right in. As long as if, and, like, if I know you, like, well, if I know you, like, if you're, like, my cousin or something... Or like one of my first subscribers, like my real good friend, which I'm pretty sure he is my cousin too. Um, you guys can come up here and uh, you guys can fish. I mean, I mean, we've never had issues with like people like trying to trespass and fish, but we have had some issues with poachers on the farm killing deer. Like, they literally just kill them and just leave them lay okay I knew I I know I said that I would only give this thing like one more shot but uh the chicken is loud we'll make one more cast and this is this is it and I mean like seriously this is it and then I'm gonna end the video and go now do we cast her out there for let's do it okay that was more high than far Okay, I got a piece of hay on my foot. As long as if you're working this thing for a while. Now, I am kind of in a rush. So, like, I mean... I really can't, like, fish here for a long time. But, like, if you were to fish here for, I bet, an hour, hour and a half, you'd get a bite. Okay. Okay, I know this video was actually, like, 24 minutes long, but I'll see you guys later, you Kinsey Club.